I'm actually shocked right now that my camera's working because I dropped it so hard <laughs> and it just turned back on. So I'm really happy. It's Friday. I wanted to vlog this weekend, take you guys. I don't, I don't even know where I'm taking you because I don't know what I'm doing this weekend. I don't have any special plans. I know tonight the girlies are coming over to watch Drag Race. I just woke up. It's really early. Yeah, the girl is coming over to watch Drag Race. I need to straighten up my house a little bit because it's a mess. It's also freezing in here. And um, I went to the dermatologist for my rash yesterday. Update, she gave me more creams to try. And I'm like, great. I asked her to put me on antibiotic or like what she thought about that. And she kind of ignored my question. So I was like, okay. Um, and she gave me two more creams. Maybe they'll work. I'm going to try them and then go back in three weeks again. But we'll see how it. It does look lighter today. It's normally way more red and inflamed. So maybe the creams are working. With this rash, it fluctuates. So I don't really know. Because sometimes it looks like this. And then by the end of the day, it'll be flared back up. So it's like hard to really know. But it's in my dermatologist's hands at this point. I've tried every hat, gimmick, Amazon cream, and thing that you could possibly try. So I don't know. <laughs> Hey okay, y'all have this vanity and I really want to use it, but I don't know where to put it It wouldn't make sense up here because that was the backdrop so I don't get ready right there I can't put it here on this desk because I film content my camera sits right there So like, it doesn't even make sense You would see the back of a vanity and then over here obviously it won't fit on this little flimsy table <laughs> Like it would crash to the ground. It's bigger than the table. So what do I do with you? I want this vanity. I shall know what to do with it. Hello, vlog fam. Revolve just sent me all these clothes, so I want to try them on for you. And then I got a couple other things just while like out and about shopping. So I was going to show you that, and we could do like a little haul segment of the vlog for this fine Friday. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. First and foremost, I need to turn the light on. Oh, there's the light. We found the light. Okay. Lululemon just dropped their new colors for their belt bag. This is the color I got. It's called Arrow Blue. I am obsessed. It's not like a neon blue. It's not a cobalt blue, but it's just this bright, and it's not baby blue, but it's like this bright, pretty blue color. They have a bunch of new colors, and I will say they're all cute. So yeah, this is the one I got. It's adorable 38 bucks not too bad okay next i went to the chanel not the designer bag store but i went to the chanel store because we have one here that just sells like cosmetics and stuff and i picked up a perfume and they were so so sweet in there they were just like so nice so i love them anyways the paper's pretty and they have the chance chanel and a bunch of new scents so they have like a bunch of scents for spring. Some are fruity, some are floral. I think I got the floral one. Some are like ambery. They have all like different themes. I have no nails, so I'm struggling. It's my first time opening it. So I got the pink one. They're all different colors. Huh, look at my lips. Oh, yells. All their new scents are different colors. So I just got this pink one and let me smell it to remember what it smells like. Plus I wanna wear it today. Smells so good. Okay, I got the smaller one because I was like, I'm not gonna use. Y'all, I just have a lot of fragrances, so like I feel like I wanna use the bigger one. Um, so this was 135 bucks for the small. But you know, it's Chanel. Well, I mean, you're gonna get it. But anyways, these it, uh, all Chanel fragrances last for such a long time, and when you wear them, they're super strong as well. So if you're looking for something in that category, well, <laughs> darling, smell their new scents if you go to like a store that sells. The Chanel fragrance, boom. This is <laughs> what my island looks like at the end of every week. But we're just gonna cram her in with the other girls there. Now onto the Revolve stuff. This first item is literally a gown. <laughs> Look how pretty that is. This is the brand Michael Costello. So let's try it on, darling. Oh, I love this dress. It's so pretty. It's super long. So I'll definitely have to wear some heels with it, but I just love the way it looks. Walk, walk the runway. I love this like lace detailing in the leg too. It's so pretty. I hope you guys can see good from back there, but <gasps> it's a winner. It's a winner, baby. Next we have this tube top dress, but I was planning on wearing this black blazer over it and like some statement earrings and I thought it would be really cute. Let me show you with the blazer. Bam, 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 boy. Like that with a cute heel and a black clutch. Do you see the vision? And like a really pretty earring. I don't know, but I just love this fun pattern. Um, and I think this just like kind of 
gives it business. So I'm standing on business in this outfit, but I'm also ready to party. Right, guys, our next outfit is this top. I thought it'd be cute for springtime and I just love this color orange. It's such a good color. It's like a tangerine. It makes your skin look like it has a nice tan on it. And then I got these jeans by The Brand Girlfriend and I love them. Okay, they are mid-rise jeans, not high-rise. I wanna love high-rise jeans, but you guys, high-rise jeans, they don't love me. They do not love the square body, so mid-rise is honestly a little more flattering on me, but let me show you this outfit. Okay, top adorable. Jeans, I love the mid-rise, so cute. I love how baggy they are too because I can wear heels or sneakers with them and they're gonna fall to a good area on me. So I just love this outfit, it's so cute. How cute is that top? The jeans are adorable. Maybe this outfit is me for springtime. The next item is this sweater and by the brand Tula Rosa and it is off the shoulder. I love this off the shoulder look over here. I love the cut. You guys, like the fabric feels so nice on this and I just think it looks so cute on. This is me pretending it's cold in LA, but I will be wearing this, you know, somewhere. Next item I got are these pants. I had to bring you down lower, but I got these pants and I think they're really cute. They have like pin striping on them and then they have this tie, which also leaves a cutout. These are also mid-rise pants, so. Just you guys to give you a close up of what that looks like. Super cute. The ties, love the cutouts. And I would say they're more of a wide legged pant. I love the pin striping on it. And I just paired it with this graphic tee. This would also be cute with a little tank top. Next item is actually a favorite piece that I got. And it's this dress, it's by House of Harlow. I love all the detailing on it, it's so pretty. It feels so heavy and luxe. But I am obsessed with how it actually looks on. You guys, it is so pretty. I love the sashes and the danglies. And you can also wear it kind of pulled up a little more if you wanted to do one shoulder. You could do both shoulders up and you can see a little more. I also like this double lined. This dress is insanely pretty. I love it literally so much. Well, I found the cutest shirt in the world. Look at how cute this ruched sheer bubble bellowed sleeve drawstring shirt is. Oh my gosh, it's giving February. Like I'm definitely gonna be wearing this in February, babes. How freaking cute is this? I love one button and button to leave the chest open, but you could also like wear it like that if you wanted to give it a little button. But I love the drawstring because you can kind of adjust it to how you want to wear it. I just paired it with some of my favorite jeans. This might be my favorite item. I say that about every item. The sun's going down, so I'm so happy I filmed this right now. Perfect timing, but then our next item is a super down bodysuit. So let me try it on. Okay, this is my last item. I actually got one more thing, but I want to do a real before I spoiled this outfit and how cute it is. Like I wanna save it for a real get ready with me because I've been doing those. So I'm gonna hold it, but I did get this top. It's a bodysuit actually. And I think it's so cute. I paired it with the Revolve girlfriend mid-rise jeans. And I think it just looks so good. One arm will be cold, one arm will be warm, but it's giving, I also love this cut in the front. It's just like a cool cutout shirt. It's by Super Down. They have a ton of cute shirts on the site, but I thought this little bodysuit was giving. What do you guys think? And that is everything for the portion of this haul. Brown chicken is the same as chicken. It's the exact same. I can't have it. Eat it. Eat it. No. Eat it. No. Eat I'm going to have my beet juice. Chicken <laughs> is the same. <laughs> it's chicken of the sea. I have clarity. Mental clarity and gut biome health. It doesn't oh, seem very clear, thing. darling. <laughs> Not the gut biome. <laughs> yes, the gut biome. Do I have it's a gut flora. biome? No, yours is rotten. <laughs> yeah. You don't have a stomach lining anymore, honey. You lost it. <laughs> It's disintegrated. The doctor pepper. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> to the doctor pepper. Look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take one. No, I haven't taken a picture. No one get a donut. No one get a donut. Don't take a picture. I want a donut. Oh, yeah. I also want a donut. All right, there's the donut. I know. I know. I know. Wow. The tea. It's the. Wait, what if I just take a snip? Take a snip. Don't do much. I'm stuffed. I'm stuffed. We are in the McDonald's drive thru currently going to the beach. I'm intruding on Laura Saturday. That's right. He's not allowed to come to the beach. He normally golfs every Saturday. Usually I'm golfing. But he golfed on Friday. Mm -hmm. So now he's intruding. She's not happy. She is <laughs> not happy. I she's, said no complaining. Now I got bells on, baby. Bells? Yeah. We're going to have fun. I brought us a frisbee. I'm gonna make you be athletic on the beach. Baby, I taught you how to throw frisbee. <laughs>
<laughs> we're gonna throw a frisbee and we're gonna do a hot girl walk. We're gonna eat breakfast and when we get there, I'm just picking up some panty cakes and a cup of ice. Let's do that. Okay, I'm down. Yes, thank you. Ice cream. <laughs> Her Dr. Pepper that she brought from the house. Yeah, Dr. Pepper this girl. This girl. Do you wear your sunscreen? No. Where I think I've seen some in the. Yeah, yeah, I always put sunscreen in here. Always. That's good sunscreen. No, we're going to pick up Tyler's breakfast because he didn't yeah, want getting, pancakes from McDonald's. Want McDonald's. He wanted pancakes from Lapan. No, I didn't get pancakes. What'd you get? I actually got a uh, avocado toast. We're very, we're different souls when it comes to breakfast. We're different shows. Oh. Alright, we'll see you at the beach. beach. back to the car right now the thing is it wouldn't be a Laura Lee vlog if I wasn't cleaning my closet in the vlog so we just have to do this today my closet looks like this at the end of every week you guys always tell me clean as you go but no <laughs> uh -uh. I'm not gonna do that I honestly don't mind just doing it all at once that works better for me so we're gonna do it all at once this freaking jacket I got this year at Abercrombie. It is like a double fleece jacket and it is the comfiest jacket ever. They are kind of sold out of them though now. I'll try to link it if I can find it on Abercrombie's website. But y'all asking me about mine and Aaron's the other day and 
they had low stock. So I don't know if they're restocking it or not, but they are, I'll link it. I wish they still sold this piece right here. I got it Lululemon. It is the warmest, coziest pullover. It's like a Sherpa pullover, but it's like so plush and lined in here. I got this like two years ago, so I don't know if they still sell it, but I wish they did, because this is one of my favorite pullovers ever. the vacuum in here but I got this new rug in here and because it's on the hardwood it just slides around so of course you know I got my rug stickers they look like this I get them off Amazon and what you do is peel one off and then obviously this side is the sticky so you want to do that you want to put the sticky on the side of the rug you want to make sure your rug is where you want it to go to because these do like this texture does not slide around at all like it means business so i'll do that and then look it's super stuck to the floor so this rug will not move so i'll do i think i'm only gonna do i think i need to do six to be honest because it's a runner and we'll be good to go and i can do my get ready's with me right here and we'll have like a nice rug the rug is also so soft i got it from amber interiors Step and now the rug's not going anywhere, honey. Nice and on the ground so you won't slip and slide on it. I love it. Doesn't that look so warm and cozy now? <gasps> yes! Vlog fam, it is Sunday and I need to fix my hair. So I thought we would do it together. All right, fam, we are now doing my hair. Uh, my makeup does because the lighting was a little too rough in that bathroom. Y'all know I hate that lighting in that bathroom. It haunts me. I'm like, right, Carrie, I always need the good lighting. You wanna know whose lips are busted and crusted and dry? Mine, so I'm gonna put on some of this Rode Lippy. I'm gonna be doing a nail tutorial for you guys soon on this like easy Gelix nail kit, so I don't have any nails on right now. I'm trying to wait for that video before I put nails on, so. You're gonna see me nail nailless a little bit. Look at this hair. But anyways, I'm about to put my hair in a bun because I'm gonna go do a workout class in a few hours and I just wanna go ahead and get my hair out of my face because it's getting on my nerves anyways because it's so dirty. I only wash my hair kind of like twice a week, but the problem is I've been bumping my workouts up to three times a week, so I'm having to wash my hair three times a week and I don't like to do that, like at all. Just know that. Just know it gives me absolutely no joy. I sweat so much in these classes because they're heated. I do sculpt and I do hot yoga, I do both. But they're heated, so, guys, it gets so hot in there. My hair's like soaking wet with sweat by the time I get out. Like there's no salvaging it and I've had delusional moments and be like, I can definitely save it today and then I walk out of there and I'm like, oh, I'm a wreck. Like there's no way. I watch girls walk in there with pretty curls and I'm just like, RIP, RIP. Because those curls are going down. <laughs> gets so sweaty which is really amazing detox so i'm just having to wash my hair a lot and having this much hair is a full-time job but i'm committed i'm still committed to it also trying to get all this hair in a bun <laughs> takes a lot of shoulder work so i'm like basically doing a shoulder workout here do you ever just get tired of putting your hair up and your arms get so sore and you're like i can do it i just have to stay strong because that's literally me always tell me when i say Okie dokie. Like, it doesn't have to be perfect because it's just for the workout class, but here we are trying to make it perfect. Why do I do this to myself? Ugh. We're wetting the hair and then we are slicking it back with this amazing brush from Target and it's by the brand Annie. 
and it has dual sides. One, this side's softer, this side's rougher. I like the rougher side to get me going. And then once I got the hairs in place, I like to flip it to the softer side and just smooth out any little bumps or flyaways. It works really great for that. But like the heavy lifting, you're gonna have to use the rougher side. So we're gonna put this in a bun with a rubber band first. I got these like elastics. They kind of like not, they're kind of like pantyhose. Like they feel like that's what they're made out of. I don't know, but they don't rip my hair out, but they're also not very strong. So I always have to use two of them, but I like them. So now I'm just gonna twist all this hair. <sighs> I really didn't want this high up of a bun. Maybe I'll just do like, See, my hair will never hold in class like this because I'm doing sculpt today. So it's like really ramble. It's like a hit class, essentially. High intensity workout. So like, I'll be like, whoa, I gotta lower this bun. Ah! If it sits too high up on my head, I feel like it looks like a little doo-doo swirl. It needs to be back here a little bit. Like that is much better that this is what I was looking for. I also normally put like a bunch of the day styling cream in my hair, but I'm not gonna do as much today because I'm gonna sweat all this out. So I've literally done it before where I, I did my normal amount where it's just like a big glob of it and I run it through all of my hair. But I'm not gonna do that because I did that and I went to a hot class and when I tell you I could taste the day coming into my mouth and like all over my eyes and face. I was like, oh my God, I used too much. just like melting out of my hair. Oh, so I was like eating it. So I won't make that mistake again. See the bun looks better back here. You know, like a little bit back. Take another elastic. Oh, and then I gotta lift it. Oh, cause it's ripping out my hair. Okay, and there we have our little bun for class. And uh, I would like set these fuzzies, but they're really not gonna matter shortly. So this is what you get. And sometimes I wear a headband, sometimes I don't. And yeah. So I just made earlier the yummiest, yummiest, yummiest snack ever. You can watch on my Instagram. The footage will be vertical because I made it for Instagram, but I'm, you know, there could be vlog family out there that doesn't follow me. So guess what? You're gonna see the footy here. So I'm gonna show you how I made this delicious snack that you absolutely have to try. It is so good, like beyond. Like I could not stop eating it. It was ridiculous. So I'm telling you guys, it was really easy to make. You can just get a bag of bread and slice it up. A little round disc of some brie cheese, some cherry tomatoes, sea salt, any Italian seasonings you have you wanna add. You can do all of that and it's so easy and just delish. I will, I will tell you like the longer it's in the oven at a lower temp, the better it cooks. Cause brie will melt really fast, but you don't want it to melt so fast that the tomatoes don't get nice and warm and roasted and gushy. And you don't want to burn your bread. So it's better to put that in the oven at a lower temp for a longer time. So you can even do like at 200 for like 20 minutes, but you just want to watch that cheese cause baby it will melt quick. So you just want everything to kind of slowly roast in the oven and it was so good. Well, I'm just thinking about it right now. By the way, I've been getting some compliments on the food in my vlogs, on my Instagram, and you guys have been trying some of the recipes and saying they're so good. So that makes me very excited because I'm in my chef era. I love cooking, I'm always in the kitchen. So I just have to show and share some of that with you guys. Hello guys, it is Tuesday and we are getting ready to film full coverage or I'm getting ready to film full coverage. What did I just do with my lashes? Why is there only one of them? <laughs> Hold on. We're back, we found the second lash. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm getting ready to full film full coverage. So I figure you guys get ready with me. Last time I was on here, I think we were getting ready for a workout class and I did it and I did fantastic and it was great just to update you on that. And then I got busy filming a bunch of content yesterday that I did not finish. So now I'm in the middle of filming this baking content and I didn't finish the cake and now the cake is just sitting on my counter and I don't have time to finish it today because I have to film the podcast till like six o'clock tonight and I'm normally so exhausted after I film it like I'm dead to the world so I doubt I'm gonna be able to cook dinner and like at eight o'clock start that project back up tonight so the cake is gonna have to sit on my counter until Wednesday morning. <sighs> It's too much guys, it's too much, it's too much. This is where I start to build up and get stressed with content. 
There's a cake rotting on my counter. I already spent hours and hours yesterday working on the content, so I don't want to forfeit the cake and just be like, screw the content. Because then all my hard work from yesterday will go to nothing. This is uh, sometimes what it's like. Anyway, so we're gonna sweat. We're gonna sweat. We need moisture. This uh, primer always feels really good on the skin too. I love it. I'm gonna put some of this peptide glazing flu uh, fluid around my under eyes. I don't know. They just feel extra dry through here. Oh, that feels so good. So I did this video on TikTok because it was like 2016 makeup's coming back. So I used my Estee Lauder Double Wear. I'm in the shade 3 in 2 Wheat. And um, the pump doesn't work on it. It's like dried and crusted in there. But anyways, maybe I can get that cleared out and wash it out. But I think I just need to rebuy this because I know this is expired. But this is such a good foundation and I forgot how much I love it. But anyways, now I can't quit using this. So I've just been doing this. And I know you guys are gonna um, be like, ew, don't touch your face with a stick and put it back in the bottle. But baby, this is expired trash I'm already putting on my face. I'm gonna be touching my face with the applicator, okay? By the way, update on my rash. I think I told you guys about that, my perioral dermatitis. So I went back to the dermatologist. Um, The rash is pretty much gone. It's a Christmas miracle. I had to go to the dermatologist twice and I've tried every hack. Is there black? I think there's black on this brush and it's getting on my face. But literally when I tell you, Oh, it's from my hairline. I put black in my hair. It's getting all over my face. Uh, she gave me this medicine because she was like, what you have is like definitely psoriasis related. She basically gave me a psoriasis cream and it worked like a charm. Like I saw this rash going away so quickly and now it's like 99% gone. There's just like a little hyperpigmentation. The rash is like gone, y'all. The rash was crazy. Like I hit it as much as I could off camera because I was so insecure about it because it was so yuck. But, and it also made me look like my face was like this because it created such a deepness to my smile line because of how protruding it was and like bumpy. I'm just so happy and I have this massive tube so I know if it comes back, I can just use it. So like it hurt, like the rash. Okay, it was ugly, whatever, it hurt. Like anytime I'd talk it would bend my mouth, like it would crunch and it would hurt. Anything that would get on it would burn and be inflamed and just ache. And then if I went like this and touched my skin, it felt like rhino skin. So there were like layers to why the rash was annoying. If it was on my arm or something, I probably wouldn't have been as worried, but it was like on my face. I'm just really blessed, really happy. And I'm glad I trusted her because this, this one cream did. The second cream she gave me didn't do anything at all. That doesn't matter as long as it's gone. It looks like my hair is short right now. But it's not. But it's not. <laughs> There's the rest of my hair. Cool. My hair has layers, so whenever I put it half up, I hate that it uh isn't like gradual. It's like this chopped, because of the layers. It's like this chopped layer when I do half up, so I really don't like that about the layers. So we just concealed, I need to add a little more. I do a little heavier makeup on pod days, and then whenever I'm on camera, I'll watch the episode and I'm like, it literally looks like I barely have any makeup on. The lights and I'll just totally blow it out. I have these press-ons right now on, but I'm about to take them off as soon as I get home. I'm gonna do a nail tutorial for you guys on my main channel. Kiss came out with these nails that like are basically do your own gel x nails at home and i am so excited to do them but i gotta film it so i can't put them on right now I'm filming a podcast episode and so i want to have nails on for that this is the lunarversal unit translucent setting powder by lunar beauty you guys can use my code laura lee it is an affiliated code that means i make some coin if you use the code like we make money okay so we're gonna take this and we're gonna set the under eye, but just the under eye right now because I gotta add a few more cream products, but I don't want this to get too creasy. Also, Chloe Morello made a good point. She made this TikTok. It's all her posting about how brands advertise creaseless concealers. Like this concealer won't crease. And she was like, there's no such thing as a creaseless concealer. If you have wrinkles under your under eye, like the product has to go somewhere. It's gonna go in there, it's gonna crease. There's no such thing. And I could not agree with her more. I'm like, actually, she's so real for that because like people are like, how do I get my concealer not to crease? But if you literally have creases in your under eye, like it's impossible for the product not to go in there. So like, there's no such thing, you know? Unless you have a literal fill to the brim 
perfect under eye. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. I always put on too much of this. Like such a little bit goes such a long way and I'm always too heavy handed with it. I gotta remember. I can never remember. Like girly, lighten it up. What else is new in my world? Well, um, hello, our slouch socks came back in stock and yeah, we're gonna sell out again. So if you want the white slouch socks, we have some more in the new colors, but the white, baby, it's going fast. So I suggest, I mean, they're gonna sell out. So um, get them if you want them. But don't say I didn't warn you because it's gonna be like two to three months before we can get them back in stock. So yeah, that will be the third time they sold out. You guys ate it up. New launch did so well for us. I'm very excited about that. We put a lot of time, energy, and effort in. As you guys saw, I vlogged a little bit of it and it did really well for us. So I'm very excited. God, it's always like, oh, feels so good whenever your brand does good. Okay, I'm gonna take NC20 by MAC. Oh, look at all these lashes sitting back here. Love this. It's like super light powder. And I'm gonna take a little bit on a brush. And this is where I like to go in and make my under eyes, my under eyes super bright. Foundation powder is so much heavier than like translucent, but sometimes when you're on camera, you need it. Okay, and then I got this setting powder from Refi, which I've been loving. It's so interesting. It's called the Skin Finish Water-Based Powder, but it's one of those that feels literally cold. Like whenever you put it on your skin, like it feels like it's icy. It's so interesting. I know another brand made a product like this, but it's a good set. It's a, it's a really good all over setting powder that I've been enjoying. So I did that. I wish I would have glued my brows down before we got into this, but I didn't do that. Sure didn't. Okay. We're set. We're ready to go. I have a full mustache and my makeup's already on so I can't shave it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I'm going to just tell Manny not to look at it. Um, this is the coolest product ever, ever. This is the brow glue from Ardell. You can get it on Amazon or at Walmart. Those are your two options. Those are the only two places I've seen it, but it's literally like lamination in a bottle, but like instant. So you're going to brush it on your brow. I would say a pretty nice little coating on the brow. This product is bomb. So listen up. Okay. You're going to take the brush that comes with it. Like this bristly in right here. And then you're going to squish the brows down, but at the same time, you have a little play time with this product, but it's gonna dry down. So kind of get the brows where you want them. Move with purpose. And then you give them a little press. They also have a paddle on the end if you wanna press with that. And then boom, your brows are not gonna move all day. They're not gonna flake. It's not gonna get that white flaky mess. Like it, like this is it. And I noticed this product, like it doesn't break apart your foundation, like the brow freeze and all will. I still like the brow freeze and all that. I'm not trying to dog them, but I'm just saying. Like this is crazy good. Like it literally kind of feels like you put glue in your brows. But I will say your brows will be hard as a brick. Like I'm not kidding. It says instant lamination. The brows are not gonna be like fluffy and you're not gonna be able to move them around once it dries down. So don't say I didn't warn you. And now we're just gonna let that dry. But yeah, check this out. This product is everything. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of eyeshadow before we finish our face. I'm just gonna use this Patrick Ta palette because it's so easy, so pretty. I actually did not get the Kim K one. I said I was going to, but whenever it launched, I forgot like I was busy that day so I want to get it still but I'll just have to wait because didn't it sell out I think it sold out but I did review the Kim K line on my TikTok if you guys want more makeup reviews and stuff that's where that those those items are gonna live just because I don't do that as much on my main channel so people all the time ask me they're like the skims website's so overwhelming like I don't even know where to start or what to get so I was gonna do a video a breakdown of like the basics and like the best stuff to get from skims and then I also ordered a bunch of stuff from their Valentine's collection to review so I was gonna mix and mingle and do just one big video what do you guys think about that but that would go up on my main channel so I'm thinking that might be up next I'm gonna do my eyeliner because I can't do it on camera because I'm gonna be like this all the way over here so i'll be right back <laughs> kvd liner y'all are not gonna believe this but i've got to take off my base makeup i have to do this <gasps> you guys it was like falling apart and breaking i don't know why it just would not it's not sticking to my face like it's you ever use the same makeup every day <laughs> but today it's like nope my forehead looks great. The rest of my makeup, for some reason, I'm also gonna take this time to shave my beard. <sighs> I just redo the second half of my face. What a bummer. What a bummer. Sometimes it'd be like that. The product, as I was blending, it was like picking up product and the product was like coming off my face. But what is my rationale? I know it still looks red, but I'm telling you. 
that's just hyperpigmentation. This is the real rash. The texture was crazy. This just feels like my skin now, so I'm so happy. But can you guys believe I have to redo all this shit? Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna be late and I'm gonna cry. <sighs> Dang it, to just go put some water on my face because I do not like the grease from makeup wipes. When makeup artists use makeup wipes on my skin and then put makeup on top, I'm like, ah! Because this has all kinds of stuff in it, like remover, and I don't want that on my skin all day. So let me go wash. Okay, we got all the grease from the makeup remover off. I'm like, is it the S day? Because it's expired. Am I willing to try this again? Let me shave my mustache. We're having a crisis. Round two. I'm just as unhappy about this as you are. You guys are gonna be like, it's good you touched the thing on your face. <laughs> okay, let's try with my trusty artiste brush. I know part of the problem is I had some black in my hairline and that definitely like got into the foundation because I was like something is not looking right. So I'm pretty sure that didn't help. See, now this is going on smooth as butter. This looks so much better, okay? I don't know what happened to me back there, but I'm a different person now. That's what I'm talking about. This looks so much better. So much better. So we're gonna do some concealer again. I'm so sad to be redoing my makeup. So I want to be done with this. Have I ever had those days where that happens? Does it happen often? If I'm filming it, definitely gonna happen. Wow, I look so much better. <laughs> I'm so happy now. I actually don't think it was the product. I think I just got like my hair stuff mixed in and then the brush was dirty. So it was, I don't know. It just wasn't working because I'm using the same products now and it's working like a gym. I'm not gonna put that bronzer on too because I just, I put too much of it and it just, baby, we were, Things were happening. Since we're low on time, I'm just gonna stick with some powder products from here on out to ensure <laughs> that we don't have the same catastrophe. I'm gonna add a little bit of this Makeup Forever blush. It is in the shade Wherever Rose. These blushes are so nice for Makeup Forever. Okay, now we're just gonna put on these little bitty lashes. These are little end lashes that I just got at Sephora and I love them. I wore them yesterday. We're gonna wear them again today. We got the lashes on and we're just adding some lip liner. This is Cork by MAC. And then this is almost sold out. This is Mara from Mara Los Angeles. Look at mine. Horrible. That's my favorite lipstick ever and I'm so bummed because we are at the end of the full fantasy. Maybe it was a blessing that my makeup was messed up because they gave me the opportunity to shave my mustache. So we have to count our blessings here. We're gonna set it. And for the most part, we're ready. I just gotta go add some jewelry. 